The Pacific Islands consist of small islands less than five meters above sea level. These islands are directly impacted by climate change. During the past 50 years, climate change and global warming have not only caused sea levels to rise, but have also exacerbated climate disasters like typhoons, droughts, and floods. As climate change becomes worse, its impacts have become more severe. In 2016, Typhoon Winston caused around 44 casualties and displaced around 50,000 people in Fiji, and the abnormally strong 2015-2016 El Nino event caused the Marshall Islands to declare a state of national emergency due to extreme drought. Um, it's already disrupting the lives of uh, our people in, in, in that way, and, some, and in some countries uh, there has already been relocation. Uh, where communities have been adversely impacted uh, and uh, are now being displaced. So um, it's, uh, it's not a question of um, whether it affects the lives of... It, we're already seeing the impact of uh, climate change on the lives of our communities, the lives of our villages and our, and our nations. According to the IPCC Fifth Assessment Report, Rainfall is expected to increase during future rainy seasons, and droughts are expected to be more severe during future dry seasons. In other words, climate change will increase the number of droughts and heavy rainfall events, as well as their intensity. Preparation for climate disasters is critical, as this can significantly reduce the impacts of these events. Therefore, Highly reliable prediction information tailored to the region is urgently needed to help prepare the Pacific Island region for events like droughts and heavy rainfall. Currently, Pacific Islands are using statistical methods to analyze historical weather and seasonal data to predict the upcoming seasonal climate. But Pacific Islands' current climate conditions have a certain environmental factors that have changed, making it difficult to utilize historical relationships to produce reliable predictions. Current existing prediction systems have been optimized for only a few Pacific Islands. This, combined with the lack of capacity, has made it difficult to utilize the latest and highest quality climate prediction information. Current existing dynamical models for predicting weather and climate show remarkable performance for the Pacific Island region in comparison to other regions. Despite the large potential for the Pacific Islands to benefit greatly from dynamical models, they have not been able to take advantage of these models due to a lack of capacity and prediction systems utilizing these models. To fill this need, the APEC Climate Center is developing climate prediction systems and conducting capacity building activities to enable the Pacific Islands to better prepare for future climate phenomena. These systems are the Pacific Climate Information Toolkit, or CLICP, and the Pacific Island Countries Advanced Seasonal Outlook, or PICASO. APCC developed the Climate Information Toolkit for the Pacific or CLICP so that the Pacific Island can have access to high quality prediction information from various institutions around the world. CLICP provides rainfall prediction information tailored for the Pacific region and is based on the APCC multimodal ensemble which has been well recognized worldwide. The Pacific Island Country's Advanced Seasonal Outlook, or PICASO, is unique in that it takes into account the climate characteristics of the Pacific Island regions, which generates more reliable rainfall prediction. We also took care to design the system to be user-friendly so that users can intuitively use the system to easily generate the climate prediction information for their own country. 
One of Picasso's features is that it was developed to be an offline system. This allows climate officers to generate high quality forecast information in any situation, regardless of internet access. In our experience, simply delivering a system is not effective, so we have already conducted three interactive training activities, both in the Pacific Islands and here in Korea. And we hold another training program at the end of the project. We have trained a total of around 50 staff from various Pacific Island national mass services on how to use Clicky and Picasso, as well as some of the basic scientific methods used to develop them. There is a saying in the Pacific, uh, uh, you can give a fish to a man, but he will continue to be hungry. But if you provide him with uh, skills and a tool uh, to fish, uh, uh, it will be sustainable. And that's, that is exactly uh, why uh, this project, the Korean uh, project uh, of the Pacific, it's successful because we are providing those tools and building uh, capacity in the Pacific Island met uh, Meteorological Services to facilitate that process working with the national stakeholders. Many developed countries see climate change as a distant future issue and only experience the current impacts through the news. However, for the local residents in the Pacific Island region, climate change is already threatening the existence of these nations and their livelihoods. This is worsened by the isolated nature of these islands, as well as the residents' climate-dependent lifestyles. Picasso enables the Pacific Island region to better adapt to climate change through the utilization of reliable climate information to prepare for extreme climate variability events. In this sense, the APEC Climate Center expects and hopes that Picasso will help improve the quality of life and increase the resilience of the various sectors that sustain life on these beautiful islands.